Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And I've got a set of three axes here. I'm gonna use them to do some 3D graphing. So let's go ahead and press the reset button here. It'll uh, reset the plane and then it'll tell me a list of five equations that it knows how to draw. So let's start with the first one, x squared, y equals x squared minus z squared, and I'll just click on it. And there we go. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this is what we call a saddle figure because it kind of goes curves upward in this direction and downwards in the other direction. You can kind of go through the blocks and uh, look at it from any angle. Actually a pretty good visualization tool, I think. Let's look at some of the other equations. We have x, x cubed times z plus z cubed times x. And this is gonna be another kind of saddle figure, but in the other direction. Uh, this is my favorite one, sine 20x plus cosine 20z. And sine and cosine are both wavy. This one takes a little bit longer to calculate. Um, but yeah, this looks this looks really cool. I think it's uh, wavy in both w both dimensions. So this one's the sine dimension, and then this one's the cosine dimension. Uh, next one, one over x squared plus z squared. Uh, so this one looks kind of like a volcano. Uh, these curves would keep going up, except there's a limit to how, how high I can render the blocks, uh, just because of the limitations of the the system that I built. So. Uh, so it kind of cuts it off, but it would keep going up if it if it uh, was able to. And then the last one, cos y equals cosine 40 times squared x squared plus c squared. And this is going to look wavy, kind of like the other one based on uh, ripples, but or cosine. But uh, so this one has like a ripple effect. You have a drop in the middle and then a ripple going on around it. And actually, if it was able to render farther out in each direction, you'd see more ripples. And so pretty cool graphing system. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of go over what each of these, this is, these are the command blocks that, 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 uh, that, that run the whole system. I'll kind of go over what each of the lines does, um, but not the particular commands involved in each. So down here, this is the reset line. And when I click it, you can see it resets the, the whole um, graphing surface and then tells me a bunch of equations that it's able to render so that I can click on those. And okay, so this, clock right here is involved in resetting. Uh, basically it, it goes line by line and summons in these armor stands. Uh, these are of course armor stands. Game mode 3, you can see just a bunch of armor stands wearing diamond blocks on their head. And so when I push this button, uh, the clock turns on by, uh, by having a block here. And when the reset procedure is done, it turns on this clock, which then listens for when the player clicks on one of these, um, uh, one of these chat messages, and then so this listens for this one listens for when they click on it, and it uh, it calls these kind of functions up above to well these five functions here, these five lines, uh, basically calculate the five equations that I have listed, and then the the sixth one up here kind of renders it by putting all the armor stands in the right position according to their y value. And so each of these, this like this is the first function, which is x squared minus z squared. Uh, this is the second function, x cubed, whatever, whatever. So this one, wait, actually, I think they're out of order. But, but I think this one is actually, yeah, this one's sine 20x plus cosine 20z. And so I actually have an approximation of sine and cosine built into these command blocks. And then similarly for this one up here, this one is the uh, cosine 40 times squared x squared plus c squared. There is an approximation for square root and also cosine built into this one. So I looked up some approximations for those things online so that I would have a pretty good approximation. It does work pretty well, actually, uh, if we go to the... I mean, the fact that, that, uh, that this, this curve is so smooth and appears to be very regular... I think the approximations are quite good, uh, and then so the the last so basically each of these each of these armor stands has its own x and z value. So everything in this row has a z value of negative ten, and then negative nine, negative eight. We go to here. This is zero, and then up to ten. Same thing for x uh, scores in the other dimension, and so then we calculate a y value for each of these. In fact, if I scoreboard objective set display sidebar y, we'll see. Why are they all zero? <laughs> uh, I'm not actually sure. Let's let's uh, players reset star. Let's uh, 
I, there might be some old armor stands sitting around. So let's let's reset it and try it again, and see if those Y values get um, get put where they should be. So let's do the this thing. It takes a while to calculate all the sines and cosines. Oh right, actually, as part of the drawing procedure, uh, the Y values all get set to zero as it sort of as it sort of tweaks the blocks into the right place. It's uh it subtracts values from the Y score. So that's why that's why the Y scores are all zero. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't a really good demonstration, but you get the idea, and uh, and so yeah, it renders it renders places the armor stands according to their Y value, and that's pretty much how it works. So I think it's a, a really cool visualization tool. It could actually be useful to people um, doing their math homework or whatever. So if you'd like to download it and uh, take a look for yourself and see all the math that I've done here, <laughs> there's a link in the video description, and you can check it out. That's about it. Thanks for watching.